Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from ECF Farms and also Vape TV Live. How the hell are you guys doing this evening, baby? Forget about it. I'm here because, hey man, I got a lot of PMs. People ask me to do these stainless steel cables as far as on mesh, on Jennies, on the hybrids. I said, no freaking problem. Then I had Lori. She sent me a mail. She's asking me, do you actually do it? Do you Can you show me how to do it? Can you freaking do a dual coil action going on there? And I'm like, yeah, you can, sure. So, hey. This is definitely for Lori. Hun, I'm going to show you right now. I already took the liberty. I haven't finished the build yet. But just wanted to show you. Here it is. Okay. Now, I put in here a 2 milliliter as far as um, uh, stainless steel rope. They're obtained by fluid vapor. They have them in stock. And I'm doing a dual coil action, as you can see. Okay. And then I'm going to custom fit it down to micros. For sure. Forget about it. So I got about six wraps, which equals to 12 wraps, uh, being that dual coils, as you can see, they're already twisted over here on this end. There's the two pieces of the resistance wire right now. So I'm actually in the process of sealing this up and get this thing fired up and uh, get it going. That's for sure. So let's get this thing going. Now, pretty much what I do is, as you already seen in my previous videos, I twist the two resistance wires for the negative post. I'm doing the same on the positive post once I bring it around. Once I bring it around like 90 degrees, what I do is I just keep twisting the two wires. Okay? Once I twist the two wires and I hook it around the positive screw, okay? I gently bring down the tail of it like so. Okay? And I hold on to it. All right? And then I screw down on the Phillips screw. That's it. Once it's screwed down, here's the excess of the tail. We cut that off. That's it. So, I cut that off. I push it up against the positive screw. And what I did was, as you can see, I used about an inch and a half of the stainless steel rope. Okay, that's all what I used. Now, with that, I covered the top layer of mesh. That's it. That's all what you got to do, see? Mesh there, rope, stainless steel rope down, okay? Now, we're going to power it on. Of course, I'm using my orbs. Forget about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Rob is going to be getting some more in. They're coming in soon this week. So, you know, as soon as it comes in, it's just it's already out the door. I mean, these freaking batteries don't freaking last long. So, I'm just lucky I got I got myself a set. So, so once it's in, once it's in, what you do is you just power it on like so. See, you don't even get a hot spot. If you do it the way I showed you, you're not going to get a hot spot. Look at that. No hot spot. Okay? Straight up. No problems. Okay? And here. I'll even focus it for you. There it is. See? No hot spot. Okay? Stainless steel rope. Really tight and snugged. I did not torch the rope. Okay? I only torched the mesh. That's it. That's all. Okay, so it's firing beautifully. Now let's check the ohms on this bad boy. I'd like to see the ohms. Just to make sure it's not fluctuating like crazy. There we go. Now let's see what's the internal resistance. So we're at huh. is my meter working today?
Huh. Hold on. Let's reset it. Point one. Okay, so I'm going to take the device so you can see. Okay, I'm going to put the positive on the positive, negative on the negative. We have 0 0.7, 0 0.6 ohms minus 0 0.1, that's from the internal resistance, is 0 0.5 ohms. Okay, so we have 0 0.5 ohms. Okay, on a single, I repeat, single mesh. Okay, on stainless steel cable. Okay. Dual coil action on the I hybrid. Okay, Celtic LED. Okay, now let's get the juice. Now, let's see. Let me just shake up this juice. This is from Fluid Vapors. Um, it's a new one that Kim is actually playing with right now. If I can get the cap off. Oh, this juice smells so good. Kim, in case you're watching, hon, this is the Pop 2 one that you sent me. And it tastes like um, Cracker Jacks. Totally, totally like Cracker Jacks. So, and this is um, 80 20 blend, 80 VG, 20 PG. Now it's three milliliters in there in the tank. Let's get some more. And it's still going. Yeah, I need to get a thicker gauge, bigger gauge for this, for this juice. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put some more into the tank, put some around the mesh, and stainless steel rope, rest in the tank. Okay, put my cap on, there it is, pushing it down, so here we go. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mm. Vapes ideal. Now, being that this is a little bit of a thicker blend, as you can see, Wicks beautifully. I mean, it is soaking, soaking wet. And as you can see, it's freaking beautiful. Look at that. Wow, it's already dripping. You know? So, yeah, you shouldn't have an issue with wicking, especially if you're using stainless steel rope, because it, it's just gonna, the juice is just gonna flow straight down. Mmm. Oh, this is, this is a delight, girl. You know, so I hope that answers your question. Being that you already were doing dual coils already on the single mesh, that's why I didn't, you know, take the time out, torch the mesh, you know, assembling it. it you should know how to do that, being that you've already been doing it for a while. So this is just with the stainless steel rope. Um, same concept. 
Real delicious. So, let me add my add my protective. Forget about it. I don't want to. Oops, this way. Okay. I could be a klutz and I don't want to, you know, have this falling and, you know, I shatter my tank and forget it. I'll be like waiting on a waiting list just for tank replacements, you know. You know how these models are. Mmm. Mmm. So that's about it. Quite simple, right? I mean, it's very simple. All I used was two milliliters. This right here, okay, 2M. You get it from Fluid. They have them in stock. Um, and I just used 28 gauge on here for six, which equals to, uh, 12 wraps. Uh, six times around times two is 12. And I got 0.5 ohms, okay? Um, however, if I use a 26 gauge wire, uh, you know, I may not need to do the dual coils as far as with two because the low in the resistance is, you know, it may get me the same thing what I'm getting now. So that's the only difference. Mm. Woo, delicious. All right. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to keep this short. Live hard, baby, and vape hard. Forget about it.